Hey guys, good morning. Uh, welcome to the daily read, which is also the weekend read <laughs> uh, since it is Friday. So happy July 1st. Um, I know we've got the long weekend, uh, both here in Canada and in the US. So happy long weekend. Um, yeah, we're gonna get some energy for the weekend. So let's see what is going on. What do we need to know? July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, because I'm going to be going to the cottage. So I don't know if I probably won't be able to upload the weekly collective as well as the Monday one, because I'm going to be up until Monday. So I will have other reads coming out, but just not the daily ones. So, um, so we have stillness. Number 33, I've been seeing threes everywhere. We also have purity, number 45. Oh boy. We have sanctuary. So I do see a lot of like reflection and kind of like this um, energy of um, kind of quiet energy, which is interesting for the long weekend. I feel like there's kind of this, um, yeah, we have we have transcending here at the bottom of the deck, but we also have protection, letting go, and wisdom. So I feel like there's almost like this sense of um, kind of almost like a little bit of retreat and it's almost like you could be looking at letting go and starting fresh in some way that could be just like an energetic thing um it feels like you're definitely gaining wisdom here in this situation i feel like you're protected at this time you're definitely kind of like evolving moving forward transcending um and with this purity energy and then also the letting go, it feels like, again, like you're letting something go in order to step into something um, new energetically. Sorry, my dog's probably gonna be barking because people are packing up cars and yeah. So let's see what the tarot has. We have death. What do we need to know for this weekend? Again, like the ending and new beginning, that like kind of rebirth energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Swords. So there's a healing energy here. Um, I do feel like, again, with, um, there's kind of like this, this healing, but it's like nurturing of self. Um, some of you could be healing from some sort of like heartache or loss, but I do feel like you're moving forward from that, Six of Swords. It doesn't feel like you're trying to obviously stay in this energy. It doesn't feel like you're wanting. It feels like you're in the process of like the releasing and moving into a new energy. Um, and I just feel like this Queen of Pentacles is talking about like looking after yourself, caring. Um, it's interesting because it says home body and we have sanctuary and stillness here. So. Um, it does feel like there's kind of this, some of you could be just staying at home this weekend and just gaining some wisdom and recharging even just your energy. Um, let's see. Death, we have the seven of wands. Yeah. Queen of pentacles. We have the magician. It's like, again, like you're trying to get your energy back. I do feel like there's this feeling of. Um, setting in boundaries. Some of you have already set boundaries um, in a situation and that's like helping you shift this energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. It's kind of a divine timing aspect. Um, I feel like good things are on their way. Um, as you step into more of this energy and with the magician here, you're definitely stepping into like your power um, using your skills may, and especially with the queen of pentacles, it's like you're putting things into reality or putting things into practice. Um, there's a sense of like you using your resources and using what you have and your own gifts, your own abilities, um, in order to shift your, this 
aspect of yourself. And then it's like you're going to be able to move past that heartache, Knight of Swords. But there is kind of this like aspect of like you're at this kind of shift here, a turning point, um, changing in the process of like changing a cycle is what it feels like. Let's see if there's any messages around love this weekend. For the most part, kind of what I'm getting is just like healing, hanging out, doing your own thing, not trying to get caught up in a big energy. Okay, some of you, again, literally could just be staying at home this weekend, even though it's the long weekend. Um, let's see for love. We have the sun. What do we need to know about love this weekend for the collective? We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Hermit that flipped out in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands. So someone's definitely... Um, there's movement here with the Knight of Cups and the Hermit in reverse. Um, I feel like maybe some of you have been in isolation. It feels like you're going to get out and get outside with the sun energy here. Um, feeling this sense of... Um, like if things have been feeling stuck or like I feel like you're moving in a new direction. This this Hermit card in reverse says isolation, loneliness, withdrawal, being stuck, repeating past mistakes, loneliness, antisocial and rejection. So I feel like maybe you've been in this energy because this is very opposite energy. And I feel like you could be coming out of that. Um, and this could be either you specifically going out, socializing more, you know, Maybe you're going to go out somewhere from a, it's funny, I was just talking about like staying at home and now this is talking about going out, <laughs> but maybe there's like one thing that you specifically go out to. I just feel like there's a, there's an energy of like out being outside with the sun. Um, however, I just feel like things are moving forward generally, like in your love life, like mo things are moving forward in a positive way. I feel like there's a lot of confidence, a lot of attraction here with this queen of wands eight of wands it's like you're you're moving forward and it's like helping you kind of come out of this hermit energy where you've maybe been feeling stuck now if you're still feeling stuck this could be a sign to kind of like get out into the world okay especially if you are kind of staying at home or kind of like isolating yourself it's like you might have to go out and socialize with people or if someone asks you invites you out with this knight of cups there might be this you know, thing of like saying yes with the sun, right? So if you get a message and you're interested and you are wanting to go out, then definitely I would say. But it's almost like having to let yourself shine and allowing yourself to like stand out is kind of what's coming up in love. It's like you might have to get yourself out there a little bit or just like socialize. And if you're not looking for love, then like stay at home. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Anything else for love? Yeah, four of wands. We have the lovers. Three of cups. Ten of wands. Yeah, I feel like there is going to be ten of cups. But there is going to be some form of a relationship coming in um, soon, I want to say. I don't feel like it's like this weekend. But soon. Um, I do, again, it's like socializing. Three of cups. But with this Ten of Wands, it's like you might have, you might feel like there's burden with this. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Some of you may also be, yeah, looking at your options and wanting to, you know, you're trying to find your partner. Some of you maybe felt stabbed in the back by relationships in the past. And again, I feel like you're healing that. Um, there's someone out there for you. I just feel like things have maybe been kind of like slow moving here. Or the devil energy, yeah, you've maybe felt a little blocked in love. Or the king of wands, the nine of cups, the page of cups. There is someone who is going to be coming in quite confidently. Um, and I do, again, it's like a small gesture. Page of cups, it's like this person's going to invite you out or something like that. Like they're going to invite you to go do something. Because um, this person doesn't feel like a homebody. <laughs> 
Um, but they're definitely going to invite you out to go do something and that could be the start of some form of a relationship or maybe you are seeing someone and I feel like they, with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups, it feels like they really want to connect with you. They really want to, um, it's their wish fulfillment to go out and do something for, with you. You know what I mean? Like they, they really want to have success in whatever your connection is with them. But I do feel like you're kind of like healing from past situations, possibly third party situations for some of you. Um, but I also feel like it's about like kind of getting yourself back out there. Yeah, devil with the strength, you are overcoming these blocks in love. So they, they won't be lasting long. I do feel like there's a healing aspect. Could be by like, I know this is like a little long, but like Leo or Virgo season, things could start to kind of shift for you. Um, as we kind of get further into the summer months. So that is pretty much what I have for you guys for the weekend. So hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. Uh, if not, you can check out any of the other daily reads. I will also have the rest of the July reads up today. Um, so all of those for each individual sign will be up. I'm going to be posting a pick a card for um, July as well. And then I have some more reads coming out later that are scheduled. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy long weekend. Stay safe. Um, and I will see you guys in the next reading. <laughs> Bye.